Hey, this is my first Spyderco. My first valuable quality pocket knife. It was a gift 20 some years ago. I'm going to say 25. I don't think I was married yet. Right at that, right at that time. I was working in the mill in West Virginia. I saw my accent went from Indiana to West Virginia real quick. I just put a little oil on it for this show, this show piece. This is 25 years old. Figure it out. I mean, it, it wants to drop. Little detent right there, but it's got a little little something going on here that just doesn't want it to want it to do that. I cannot believe I still have this knife. I use this at work. I cut cardboard. I worked in a West Virginia mill where we we made stuff. This made it through. I still got some dirt. You know, this was before frag grips started costing you a ton of money in titanium. Look at that clip. <laughs> Some point, it snapped off. Those aren't even bolts. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. Those are screws. <laughs> but it works. And it's been that way for a couple decades. Lock back. This has Oz 8 steel. Full serration. The blade length on this thing is, oh, jeez. I got to, where is it at? The blade length. That's about all I got as far as information on this sucker is the blade length. Because I can use a, you know, I can use a tape measure on that. And the blade length is 3 7, 7 sixteenths. Oz 8, lock back. I don't know the name of the thing. Somebody tell me. There's got to be a Spider Co. guy that's going to watch this and say, this guy's an idiot. He should know. But I got to tell you, I'm not the guy who cares what the name of my thing is. things are, to be honest. Put it in my hand. It cuts. It works. And then you tell me 25 years ago before probably a lot of people knew about Spider Co., if you weren't a knife enthusiast and you put this in the hand of a, a mill honky like me, not honky, honky. I tell you, this is what made me start loving pocket knives 25 years ago. Am I an expert? Nope. Is this a knife? Yep. <laughs> 